currently 159 to say that I have had a whirlwind of a 24 hours would be um, undermining what has happened. I'm fudging exhausted. Last night, <laughs> we found out, uh, or Chad found out that his dad had died. Um, you guys know Chad. And his dad has been in critical condition for a really long time. Just the other day, uh, this got filmed in the vlog and it didn't, it didn't make it into the vlog. But um, the other day we knew his dad was in critical condition. Uh, so I just found out my dad has um, seven days to nine days to live, probably. He's in the hospital. He's in hospice right now. Yeah, bro. Horrible, man. Horrible. I'm sorry, dude. We're here for you. We are. We love you. Yeah, bro. This family here. So this is just something that you're learning from and you're growing from. That's what life is putting you He's just right been now. sick for so long that I feel like... If he would go, he's, he's going to a better place where he's not going to be suffering anymore, you know? I've honestly lost track of my days, but a day after that, uh, Chad's dad passed away, man. Uh, it was it was really sad to see, and um, his Chad's family needed him in, in Orlando, and I also um, happened to have to go to Orlando, like, literally the same day. Like, I, I feel like the universe is like watching over me or like being a guardian angel or like helping. You'll see why even so with us finding Apollo, like here in a second. But um, I happened to be going to Orlando at the same exact time. We got on a jet. Chad flew back to Orlando with me this morning. Chad went home to his family. Chad, we love you, man. We're here to support you. Um, I know your dad's in a, in a better place now. I go to Orlando, I do a, a business meeting, come fly right back. I was like vlogging different parts of it. I said goodbye to everyone on Team 10. Bye, Nick. Where are you going? I don't know. Okay. But I'm going there. Bye. So I get back on the flight to come back to Los Angeles and while I was on the flight, Apollo chases a car out of the, our front gate. Here's the security footage of it. The person leaving our house didn't realize that Apollo was following him. As you see there, Apollo splits off and goes to the right. And that was really the last anyone saw of him. Um, once Apollo went through the front gate, our security guard saw this, immediately tried like running after Apollo. But by the time he had already been distracted by whatever it is, uh, I'm guessing, I don't know, a dog, whatever, and had already like split off into this giant city where there's like woods everywhere. Nathan and Chris was already texting me while I was on the flight. They started looking for him, didn't have any luck. I land, get te text messages basically saying like, call me ASAP. You're jo like, you're, are you joking or are you being serious? How the f does he get out though? You, like what, like, like he, he's actually, he's actually gone. Well, did you guys start like going around the neighborhood or something or call the cops or like, I don't know what the to do, I've never... I, 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 hope, I hope this is like a prank video or something, like honestly. Who, who opened the front gate though? Did you guys like look at the cameras at least or like figure out which way he went or... Oh my god. I need to like put on social media. Jake, your dog got out? Yeah. Worst case scenario, he ends up at the shelter. He ain't getting far. Call the shelter, he could already be there. He's like, Yo, is there like a local shelter? Of course. That you can get a number for? I'm sorry if I don't make sense, guys. I'm like f***ing exhausted. I try to make my way home as fast as possible. Hello, man. Yo, yo. Hey. Have you, um... 
gotten any word back from the shelters or anything like no i mean we've just been walking around the neighborhood um well we're gonna take trees out and then we've called the shelter but no word back yet we're just we're, we're waiting to hear it's kind of a waiting game at the moment i mean you can't this neighborhood is not big doesn't he have a chip in him like yeah, yeah what if, is he goes, if he goes to a shelter, but yeah, they'll be, since with his chip, they'll be able to scan him and leave, we, I mean, he'll be the first phone call. Back home, apparently this is where uh, Apollo got out. I get, I get home, get my <coughs> put my down, try to figure out what happened, try to figure out where he could be, immediately put everything out onto social media because I know that like you guys have a lot of awareness and you guys would have my back and that like somebody might see him or pick him up and honestly I get mad when he barks but I'm just glad for that he's here and it just goes to show like be appreciative for like every thing you have in your life and you like Chad's dad man and like Apollo like you never know um so a after every so after everything was posted on social media like all kind of like started going our different ways, like looking everywhere we could. I was talking to anyone I could. Uh, and then eventually it turned into nighttime. We were searching for hours and hours and hours. We just kept on searching and searching throughout the night, just like nonstop. You check all the neighborhood, right? Yeah. I mean, this could be- We checked the neighborhood earlier today. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't matter if he's- you be running Yeah, anywhere. yeah, I know, I'm just saying. Hello. The thing is like, bro, he's gonna, once he sees us or hear us, hears us, he's gonna come back. Yeah. He knows our voice. Oh, he's a smart dog, bro. So I'm not worried about him doing something really stupid. Here, slow and slow and slow. Apollo! Side of this like elementary school man. This is like in between our neighborhood and the next our house is up there But he yeah. so he could have came down this hill. He could be in the in I feel like he's in between the two neighborhoods. Well like either in the next neighborhood or in between it Paulo You'd see the reflection on his eyes with this though. Yeah, if he looked at you You could if see he looked it. at the flashlight Paulo does he still have that orange collar on or no? I don't know it was uh, like no, we lost him with no collar. No collar. Who? who he has was no it? collar. This one. I don't. I mean, last time we. He doesn't have any. Not even was, a single thing on. He was getting groomed, I think. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, dude, they can't even like call. I don't know, bro. Let's go up to this next neighborhood. Like, I feel like I feel like he's probably by a house. Like, think of Apollo, right? Like, what does he like? Like, he, he likes, likes dogs. He likes dogs and like noises and like if he smelled food. I feel like he's by houses. Apollo! This is the back side of our backyard, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Apollo! Oh, shh. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Stop, Apollo! Apollo! Yo, is that him? Sounds like him. Yo! Follow! Midnight, still looking. I've seen some Jake Paulers like earlier, and uh, I just know, I just know he's gonna come back to like somewhere by the house. And then, guys, we got a sign. Like, like I said, I feel like like someone is watching over us here, just because like uh, like. 
this is this this doesn't happen. We meet a lady, and I ask her you know, if she's seen a dog or anything, and her and her dog's name <laughs> happened to be Apollo. Like, how many dogs' names are Apollo? Yeah. Have you have you seen like another dog? Apollo. Yeah. That's your dog's name. Bro, I feel like that's a sign. Alright, thank you. Thank you. That's a sign and a half. That's God talking to us, bro. So we kept going and going and going and going. Uh, and eventually we found a man. In the neighborhood, like, ne like it's like down into our backyard. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know if I've ever been happier in my life, man. I really don't, like... I didn't realize how much I loved him. You go left, yeah. Oh, wait, yo, yo, straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. Is that him? No. Apollo! 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 Yo, yo, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Apollo! 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 Oh my god! Apollo! Oh my god! Hi! Hi, buddy! Yo, where the f Oh my god! Oh god. Yo. Hi, buddy. Oh <gasps> Apollo. Oh my gosh. No f***ing way. Apollo. Hi, where the f*** did you go? Where the f*** did you go? Hi, Hi. 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 Where did you go? No, go, don't go. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so f***ing relieved. Oh my god. Buddy. You crazy dog. Bro, no collar and everything, you savage. You're coming home. Get in the car. You're coming home. Why did you run away? Why did you run away? You're going into timeout, Apollo. You're going into timeout. I've never been so happy to see you. Hi. I miss you. I know. I know. Yes. Yo, high five! Oh, I can't go. believe you're chilling out there. Thank you guys for helping, man. Yeah, yeah bro. Sure. Holy! I can't we found him. <laughs> he's got so many. He's got so many like. Yeah, like he's prickers in him or something. It's like bushes. One thirty. One thirty a.m. Apollo. Great Apollo. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world that I'm coming home. Let the rain. Wash away! Oh, you're back! Go. You're back, Go. buddy. Go, buddy! Go! Go! Apollo, look! Apollo, look! He's your back! I think he's gonna reclaim his territory. Thank you so much for your, your guys' help. I saw a bunch of Jake Paulers like out on, on the road. I talked to a couple of them that you guys were helping me Search, if you were one of those people, like, thank you so much. I'm just glad he's back, and I'll see you guys tomorrow because it's every day, bro. Peace, I'm exhausted.